Welcome to the channel and in this video I am going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab. So first of all just simply log in with your credentials and once you done with that just simply come back over here and just simply activate your cloud shell. It will take a couple of seconds. Meanwhile in the description box of this video I will share one github link just simply click on that link and then you are able to access this document. Now just simply scroll down and from here just simply copy this export zone command copy like this come back over here and just simply paste over here like this way. And now what you do just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on the task number one. Now just simply scroll down and here you can see from the point number five this command this copy this thing carefully and make sure that you do not copy any extra space just me copy like this come back over here and just me paste over here and make sure that there is no extra space after equal to now just me hit enter now just me come back to the github repo again and scroll down and then copy this second command copy like this come back over here and just me paste over here like this way and now hit enter wait for a second and then click on authorize now we have to just me wait for this command get execute And it's done. Now what you do? Now here just search for the VM instance. Open this thing new tab. Come back over here. Wait for a second. And now just simply click on this SSH button of this VM. Now just simply wait. Now just simply click on this authorize. Now again come back to the GitHub repo. Just simply scroll down and from here just simply copy this two command. So just simply copy like this way. Come back over here. Wait for a second. And now just simply paste like this way. And hit enter. Wait for a second now. And once you see that this kind of output. Now what you do. Just simply come back to the VM instance. And now here just simply search for the security. And here you can see web security scanner. Just simply open this thing new tab and come back over here. Now I request you please watch the video carefully. Now just simply click on this link. Just simply wait over here. And now we have to just simply wait until this progress gets 100% complete. And one more thing guys, sometimes what happens, this time you might face an unnecessary error over here. Like this code is not working properly. So do not worry about that error. Here you will get a run button over here. Just simply click on that run button and again just simply wait until this thing gets complete. So just simply wait and watch. And as you can see this error and this error I was talking about. So do not worry about that. Just simply click on this run button. Just simply wait now.
and it's finally done now just simply click on this and once you get a, this kind of output over here just simply wait this kind of output now what you do just simply come back to the live instructions and just simply check the score for the task number one and task number two just simply click on this check my progresses like this way and once you get 80 out of 100 now just simply click on the task number two just simply scroll down and just simply click on this check my progress once you get a green tick over here then only move forward with the task number three otherwise do not move forward with the task number three okay and once you get a green tick then come back over here and just simply scroll down and then copy this command copy like this come back to your sss and now just simply press ctrl c for terminating this task so just simply press like this let me just clear this out now just will paste this command which you just copy copy like this come back over here and just will paste over here and hit enter wait for a second and now you are getting this kind of output now again come back to the ssh log this way and again click on this run button over here now just will wait Now again, it's in queue and now we have to just simply wait for at least three to four minutes and once this progress get complete, we will done with this lab. So just wait and watch. and it's finally done and once you see that this kind of output like no vulnerability is found then come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for the task number three you will get a score without any issue so just simply wait and watch and as you can see i got a score and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys